there's a lot of times when you need to get wires underneath your sidewalks for landscape lighting, irrigation controllers, controls for your gate operator, and this is a couple ways that you can try to get those under there simply and easily. I was going to use the water jet method, which has always been my favorite, but we ran into a whole bunch of roots underneath the sidewalk as well, and water jets only work when there's not huge rocks and roots. So we ended up using the other method, and we drilled through it using this, which is actually an electrical fishing drill. So it's made for drilling down walls or across walls when you need to fish wires into walls. We have a little bit of sidewalk right here, so we'll do one using one method and the other one using the other method and see which one we like better. So all this is, is a piece of half inch PVC with a, and you can use whatever adapters you can find. We're just trying to get to a garden hose on this end and then basically need the same thing uh, on this end. This isn't my favorite nozzle. I just need a jet nozzle and I would prefer one that didn't have this valve here. I'm a little bit worried that if you get into some real heavy clays, you may end up having trouble with this valve trying to close or do something weird here and that would be uh, problematic. They make like small fire hose type nozzles and that's really what I would have liked to have here. Just a jet, a jet stream nozzle. Um, and then these are just adapters to get from a half inch PVC to a garden hose fitting on each end. The more trench you have, the flatter you'll be able to lay this into your trench. So if you lay it in there, you'll actually have to press and kind of curve, especially if you have a long driveway uh, or something that you're trying to jet in. It, every little bit of angle that you go in, that means it's going to be deeper on the other end and that could cause you to have to dig really deep to find the other end. Uh, I highly suggest a cat plastic excavator for all of your trenching needs. That is critical. I would not use a trenching shovel at all. This is definitely the better tool for the job. Young Padawan Cade here is going to demonstrate exactly what you do. We'll see how well he follows instructions. So if you angle it down like that, where do you think we're going to end up on the other side? We're going to end up about that deep. I would prefer that we end up in your trench, so. Keeping it up like this. Oh, we might have the same problem on this side. Uh, we're through, we just don't know where. Oh, we're through. We're just over here. There you go. Here's the man himself that does all the excavating PJ construction. All right. Oh yeah, there we are. Now we can turn the valve off. And as I suspected, one of the problems that I'm fighting right here is this valve. And this doesn't take very long in hard clays and stuff like that. Uh, it works very, very well. Oh, I need some electrical tape, I think. This is where it's a little bit handier to use on a short run like this to use the drill method. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not gonna work. I got another idea here. So when you don't wanna do it that way, what we can do we can actually just run this up the inside of our pipe. You know what I'm thinking? Genius, there we go. Ho oh. ho! Now I just have to get it out. Okay, okay, that's method number one. If you have really heavy clays, be ready for a mess for a while because the soil is not gonna drain quite as nicely as this. And that could be a determining factor. One of the minions ran off with my bit. We'll look back on the footage and watch me throwing it over there. It wasn't the minions at all, it was probably me. <laughs> it's probably totally me. So this is method number two. We're gonna use this fishing tool, less water, uh, and here I know it will work really well. It's also a lot more flexible, so I have a little more control over keeping it straight when we're going into a narrow trench like this. It's gonna be over here somewhere. And just like that, we're under the sidewalk. The cool thing about this is I can take this off and reattach this wire puller, which is just 
quarter inch quick connectors like on your drill and then it has just so this is just like a it's like a chinese finger trap so we just put it in that way and then when we go to pull it out poof just like that then when we pull this way on it it pops right off that is exactly how you can get your wire underneath your sidewalk now we can fill in all our trenches We'll fill in all the trenches and you'll never see the wires again. Something I've been meaning to do for about six weeks, seven weeks now. To-do list, check. Let me know which methods you prefer. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you at all enjoy this content. And until next time, you have a good dang day.